want to go there. How do we get there? We were talking with the people in the office and one lady said, do you know about our boardwalk that goes over the marsh? She tells us how to get there. We follow what we think is her directions. We park at her playground. We can't find the path to the boardwalk. And we pass right by the Alligator Den Primitive campsite and lo and behold, the path to the marsh walk boardwalk. All right, you hold the camera, I'll look for alligators. Debbie, here's the map. I love it, it's so exciting. So when we get here, we see the birds. Here we get to see crabs and shrimp. Oh look, at the end we get to see alligators. So the sign says, this is a picture of a male blue crab. And this is a picture of a female blue crab. I can't really tell the difference from the top of them, but when I was a kid, we used to go crabbing. And my dad said the way you can tell the difference is you flip the crab over and if it has a skinny apron, it's male and we could keep it. But if you flip it over and it's got like a wider apron with just a point, that's a female crab and we couldn't keep them. Did you cook many up? Oh my goodness, cooking them was a riot because we bring them, we bring them up live and you put them in the pan live. And so my dad would have them in the kitchen with long tongs to take them out of the bowl or into the pot. And if one got loose, you should see how fast my sister and I could run away. <laughs> I see some logs. Let's see if we can find any turtles. <gasps> I see something. What? Let me zoom in on it. It is. It's a punk on a log. <laughs> you mean a P.O.L.? <laughs> we are finding out. This is probably the fifth or sixth sign that we've seen on this boardwalk. And we were a little disillusioned at the first sign, thinking that we were going to see crabs and birds and possibly alligators but all they were telling us is we were going to see additional signs all right debbie's found something we found little tiny lily pads all right if you thought the pine cone on a log was exciting wait until dewitt shows you the turtle on a log so what would be cool to see an alligator they do eat turtles check out this cool fact these new alligators can stay underwater for two hours. We found the start of the trail. Looks like it is by the playground. We crossed India Bridge and DeWitt noticed the sign says that we can hike or bike this trail. And as crossing the bridge, we saw all these roots. And this is not something that I necessarily want to go over on our bike. But if you look farther up the trail, I don't want to do that with our bike either. <laughs> We're still on Oscar Trail, walking around at Shepherd State Park. And this is just a real pretty part with all the palm fronds. Yeah, DeWitt has really good eyesight. <laughs> this is like the fourth that he's seen. A turtle. A turtle on straw. After walking the boardwalk three times and doing the Oscar Trail, we walk just over two and a half miles. I think it's time to head back to the RV and cool down and have some lunch. I agree with lunch. I'm hungry. We left Montgomery, Alabama and um, where are we? We're in Shepherd State Park. What, what, what town? Oh, we're in Gautier, G-A-U-T-I. Oh, you know better than that. <laughs> All right, it's French and it's Gaucher. It's what we've been told. We're getting ready to explore the area around Gaucher.
closer to the magic live oak. But we keep running into remnants of the old base of the lighthouse. I think you're right. I think they're just trying to give us something to look at, so we'll keep walking. Here's the magic live oak tree. This is pretty, but the one in Charleston, the angel oak, has this beat. Um, yeah, definitely. Shrimp boats of some sort. It could just be fishing boats. Today we're in Biloxi, Mississippi. We drove about 30 miles west from our campground. We're at Biloxi Lighthouse Park. We're gonna walk around and see what there is to do. Why is it called Biloxi Lighthouse Park? We'll do it'll show you. Tours are offered, but only at 9 a.m. each morning, and we decided not to do that today. Biloxi Visitors Medicine Center. We're up on the balcony of the Biloxi Visitor Center. Got a nice view, lighthouse, the coast, and a schooner. David and I just finished having lunch at Snapper Seafood Restaurant and right beside it is a convenience center of the types. Public restrooms, public be parking for beach access. They have bonfire pits. Debbie's trying to warm up. And here's the uh, coast. We are standing on the longest man-made beach in the world. It goes from Biloxi all the way to the west to Henderson Point. They're so used to the uh, Atlantic where the waves are just whipping in, so calm. Well, Debbie and I are walking the Biloxi Bridge. Just got started. We're on the eastern side. How far is it, Debbie? It's almost two miles one way, so we're doing four miles today. All right, Debbie, we're three tenths of a mile into our trip. Initial thoughts? I'm ready to keep going. And something cool that this bridge has are these uh, pieces of art every tenth of a mile. All right, we're on the downhill part. I thought it was gonna be more up and down, so flat's good though, right? Yep. This is the second bench they offer to sit and rest. Seven tenths of a mile on the way to Biloxi. Can you believe it? We just walked over that bridge nearly two miles and now we get to walk back there were a lot of beautiful views we got to see out into the gulf we saw several pelicans that are roosted pelican roost there were the bronze artwork every tenth of a mile that we got to see This must be the peak. This is where most of the love locks are. This is amazing to see so many pelicans. I mean, I'm from the coast, but I usually see seagulls, not pelicans. Mm -hmm. 